G'day guys, it's Alec here from Just Another Review. I thought I'll share this video with you guys on this, these forums. There are a lot of people asking what brand this is, um, how much does it cost, and I'll give you a run around, a wall walk around, what this trailer is like and what I honestly think about it. Now, I'm not sponsored by Easy Trail whatsoever. I purchased this in November last year and apparently we're the first ones to get it as a, as a customer. Um, so I'll share my thoughts on this camper show you the great things about it and things that i wish they uh, uh, they, they could improve and uh yeah so we bought this in november i took it through all of december through the alpine ridge of new south wales and victoria the dirt tracks the of, of the logging tracks um so i've been pretty harsh with this thing and you can see it's pretty dirty enough cleaned it already um and honestly as a trailer as a camper trailer i cannot fault it this thing can go into the smallest camp spots or campgrounds and uh you know the footprint of this is amazing i can set up the rooftop tents um sleep the night get ready in the morning and take off it takes me less than 20 minutes to set up and 20 minutes to, to take off this is what i like about it now we do own a caravan we own an avon uh, pop top and we love that camp, camp caravan it's we'll never sell it unless i'm totally broke but with that said um we bought this just for the ease of use. So with that said, let me walk you around this camper and um, give you a rundown. So here it is, guys. This is the Easy Trail Camper. It's called the Bundora GT. Uh, a rundown through the prices, what we paid for this and what you can expect and what options you can buy and what it will cost you down the track. So what it comes with as standard, it comes with your two burner, okay, Dometic cooktop, as most of these campers do. I know they do have different um, cookers out there. Uh, we've got a cold water only um, sink. Basically it plums in into here, as you can see, and off you go. Uh, storage wise, you've got a, a tunnel that goes right through. This is what our cleaning products for our kitchen. And this is all our kitchen accessories, cups, and so on plates. Obviously, it's a slide out drawer. One thing I wish they had on this trailer is these rubber seals, just to make it a little bit tighter. It does have these sponges, okay, on the doors, but because I do a lot of off-roading, as you can probably see, uh, I would have preferred if they had some rubber seals on the side here. And as you can see, no dust has got into this thing whatsoever. Um, in the back here is our clothing department. Now, these are all locking uh doors so it's pretty good so my wife's and i clothing so obviously you've got the um distinguisher there which we all need let's close this all off now these can obviously be adjusted to make it tighter over time now the reason why we went for the easy trail over, compared to the other two or three other chinese made trailers which they basically are all the same is that this has the biggest slide out drawer for your side by side fridge and freezer compartment. Now this is a 95, it can hold up to a 98, and as you can see, heaps of room, okay? This was the biggest selling point, okay? We're not gonna be changing our $1,000 fridge, or $1,500 fridge, just because the slide out was too small. This was the selling point. Now this is an option that we uh, decided to go down. So when we looked at this trailer, they offered us one lithium battery. Now obviously the batteries are gonna be shit house, but at the moment, it's been holding up quite well. It's holding charge quite good. We decided to go for 100 amp AGM um, batteries, and we decided to go for two for the price of one lithium, okay? So they basically added two AGMs in there instead of one lithium. That's your management system, okay? Very straightforward, your fuses, your gauges, and your buttons. So you've got full on power, so if I turn that off, everything turns off. You've got your fridge, so when you're driving, these need to be on. You got your sockets, which is obviously inside the fridge compartment. Your lights, so each compartment in here has a light bar inside of it, so it lights up during the night and it is bright. Um, and your water, your water pump when you need to use the water. Same compartment as the other side, and this is the other boot tunnel boots that goes right through. And this is all our tools and so on. Now, another reason why we decided to go for this, this is the second point of the selling point, is the boot space, okay? We've got a massive compartments here for storage. 
Now you can either have two nine kilo compartments. We decided to go for the one. We removed the latches for the uh, nine kilo gas bottle in there. And we've got storage in there for obviously tents, tools, and whatever it may be. This is for fresh water if we need it or gray water. And we've got the nine kilo water up there, uh, gas container up there as well. Full size spare, which is great. Comes with obviously your rock uh, protector. Okay. okay, I've just installed two hooks here for the hot tap. Handbrake 750 arc jockey, which is amazing. Standard um, tow hitch, but it is a four-wheel drive hitch, so it moves in areas which you all need. And the other thing we decided to pay for, so this is all part of the deal. We paid extra for the... Um, the tap to install that tap there so we can run that to the hot water system okay so we can have showers everything you see here except the tent and the awning comes with it okay the only difference we got was two agm batteries we decided to install a ctec charger ourselves the dc to dc charger ourselves up the top you got a full cage system where you can hold your chairs your tables your solar panels everything that you need and your firewood okay one thing I wasn't happy with, where the other two Chinese trailers have, they have a locking mechanism on their, their latches, okay? We installed these loops here, so if we're in the country town, just put obviously a padlock in there and it locks all up. Anything that's valuable in there is safe. If you don't keep it for too long. Um, underneath you guys, you've got a full, I think it's a 16 inch uh, mud terrain tire, um, drum brakes, amazing amazing unit now again i've taken this off-road and i'll show you underneath it guys so you have dual shock system in the spring uh, suspension under there comes with 120 liter water tank and um, a bash plate as well so that's your shocks and your off-road system there drum brakes as you can imagine it comes with four stability legs as you can see here okay and that's basically it. And let me give you a rundown on the prices. Now the cost of this. Okay, so for about 24 grand, without obviously negotiating, for 24 grand, uh, you can buy everything there with the AGM battery, no CTEC charger, and the rooftop tent by 23.0 in an awning by 23.0. It will cost you about 24 grand, just under 24 grand. What we paid without the rooftop tent, without the awning, um, and with the tap, which was the only optional extra that we paid on this, we paid just under $19,000. Now, there is another brand that's blue. Um, I'm not going to say the brand out there because I'm not disrespecting them. It's exactly the same thing. They have, when we got a quote for it, it was nearly $25,000 for exactly what we got here with no options, with nothing. Uh, and we said, no, see you later. And it was 12-month wait, so there's no way we're going to do that. So just under 19 grand with everything. With the rooftop tent, uh, this June awning, uh, let's talk about price. So we paid 12.99 for the rooftop tent from um, Anaconda and um, I think $200 or $150 for the awning. So you're still under 20 grand for a full setup. Can't go wrong, guys. So that's the cost. Um, that's how much we pay for it. Uh, you probably can get a better deal if you're walking in with a whole lot of cash. Um, we paid this on credit card. We got apparently um, a show price, which is apparently the best price we could get. But who knows? If you're a good negotiator. But we wanted this. We wanted this there and then. Um, and we didn't want to wait. Um, and it took us, from the moment we paid for it, it took probably another three weeks. And it was hand over to us as well. So, things I don't like about it. I wish I had a sturdier legs um, mechanism on the, the kitchen. Seals around the doors, better seals around the doors, um, as I showed you. Um, other than that, I can't fault it. I can't fault it as well. And probably, let me just show you. The stow guard protector. I wish I had it a little bit further forward. So this is very easier. Um, it's easier to get into the middle. Um, storage compartment because I'm a little bit fat for me to get into there and take out the hot wall shower system and all that it's a bit of an effort 
But other than that, guys, I love this camper. I really do. It's gone everywhere with me for the last two months since we had it. And it's going to continue going with me. It's just, it's easy. It's so much easier than what our caravan is. But yeah, if you like it, thumbs up. If you have any questions, obviously just question. I'm, I'll, I'm here to answer. Talk soon, guys.